Welcome to the new version of Scalable Learning. When you log in, you see things look a little bit different, but the same basic stuff is here. Under the Courses menu up here, you can get to all your different courses. The current ones are listed here. You can see all of your courses under All Courses, Create a New Course, and you can see courses which have been shared with you by other teachers. Within your course, you'll see all the parts of your course down the side, and you can go ahead and hide this if you don't want to see it when you're working. You can go into a particular part of the course just by clicking on it, and you'll go into that course. Now, if you want to add material to your course, you go under the content menu here, and you can choose new module if you want to go ahead and add a module to the course. You can also copy items. So I have a module selected here. I can choose it, and I can copy it, and then I can go and paste it somewhere else, or I can go ahead and share that with another teacher. You can also create new links for your course. When you're going in and editing a module, you can go ahead and click on it. It will go into the module. Within a module, if you want to create a new video question, just choose New Video Question, and you can go ahead and create it and put it in there. We also have some new features for modules. You can go down here and select that a module is in order. That means students have to do them one after another and can't skip ahead, or that it's required. If a module is not required, it means it's optional. So you can put optional material into the students' modules. One of the biggest parts we've worked on in this release is making it more interactive for students. When you go under Progress here and Review Module Progress, you're going to see how students have done in the module and how they've interacted with the module. So here's all the interactivity that the students have in the module. Here's the video you can see here, and I can go ahead and click on these, and I can go through what's going on in the class. So here's a question a student had. If I want to show this in class, I can just click Show Class, or I can type M for Mark. I can also see here how many students have voted for this question, and if anyone's flagged it as being a bad question. When you go through here, you can also reply to questions. So if I want to reply to this student, I can press the Reply button, or type R, and I can go ahead and leave an answer to the student, and the student will see the teacher's answer. So this setup here lets you go very quickly through everything that the students have done in the class. And by hitting the space bar, you can go straight to the point in the video where the students did that. It also gives you an estimate of how much time you're going to spend in class. So here, based on the number of quizzes and questions you selected, it tells you how many minutes it's going to take you to review in class. When you're ready to view it in class, just click on the In Class button, and you'll go to the In Class Review, where you'll see the things that you've selected for review. And you can click Display for In Class Review to display it. Now, if you need any help, you can go up to the Help menu here. and We've got Get It Started and Instruction Manual. We've also got a new Teacher Forum. This is a place for teachers using scalable learning to talk to each other about how things are going. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us, and we hope you enjoy using scalable learning.